Iceland is an island in the Atlantic Ocean between Greenland and Norway, near the Arctic Circle. It is roughly the same size as Hungary and Portugal or Kentucky and Virginia, with a land area of 103,000 km 40,000 square miles. Iceland is one of the world's youngest landmasses, and as a result, it is home to some of the world's most active volcanoes. Iceland is the second biggest island in Europe, behind Great Britain, and the world's 18th largest island. Iceland is Europe's least populous country. Almost 80% of the nation is uninhabited, and most of its geography comprises plateau, mountain ranges, and fertile lowlands. There are several long, deep fjords and glaciers, including Vatnajökull, Europe's most significant. Waterfalls, geysers, volcanoes, black sand beaches, and strange boiling lava fields dot the terrain. Iceland may be the last place on Earth that was settled by human beings not more than 1,100 years ago. What could be the terrifying discovery scientists have discovered hidden under Iceland? Are there any caves that have some hazardous species living in them? Is there a continent hidden under Iceland? Let's find out. Viking Era Caves Excavations at an Icelandic Viking era site have found a previously unknown man made cave. The Archaeological Institute of Iceland has been digging at the little town of Adi in Rangarvalir. The Adavarjar, a powerful clan in the medieval Icelandic Commonwealth, had their seat at Adi. The Adi man made caves were first found in 2018. The most recent research work of a two year investigation has identified a much larger cave linked to the broader cave system. According to archaeologists, the new cave might be in Nottahelir, a medieval barn for livestock and horses. Such caves are referenced in Bishop Orlikur's Legends of Saints from AD 1210 to 1250, where he relates how a Nottahelir collapsed with 12 bulls still within, with just one recovered from the devastation. Several interconnecting caves going back to the 9th century have been discovered near the settlement of Adi in southwest Iceland by scientists. The researchers were also surprised to discover that the caves were linked inside the same system. According to research, the caverns were built between 800 and 1060 AD during the Viking Age, the submerged continent. Now there is another mysterious finding that might be terrifying for the listeners. According to an international team of geologists known as Icelandia, a secret, the submerged continent may be resting under Iceland and the surrounding waters. According to researchers, this subaquatic continent might reach from Greenland to Europe. Their findings indicate that it may encompass an area of around 230,000 square miles. Still, when the team includes adjacent lands west of Britain in a greater Icelandia, the total extent might be in the region of over 400,000 square miles. That is a larger region than Australia. Suppose scientists can establish that this landmass survives beneath the water. In that case, it suggests that Pangaea, the enormous supercontinent that encompassed all of Earth's continent before breaking up about 50 million years ago, has not entirely broken up. This new theory calls into question long-held scientific beliefs about the amount of oceanic and continental crust in the North Atlantic area and the formation of volcanic islands like Iceland. The presence of continental crust, as opposed to oceanic crust, may also inspire discussion regarding a new supply of minerals and hydrocarbons, both of which are found in the continental crust. There is wonderful work to be done to verify Icelandia's existence, but it also offers an entirely new perspective on our geological knowledge of the Earth. Something similar might be happening in many other areas, said Falger, a world-renowned geologist. As our understanding of what is underneath changes, we may see maps of our oceans and seas redone, she added. The idea of Icelandia challenges current hypotheses about the creation of the North Atlantic area, and some significant geologists and geophysicists are opposed to it. Espiagi Canyon, another place called Espiagi, known as Shelter of the Gods, has impressive energy due to incredible scenery. Espiagi Canyon is located in Jokul Sargoldsfer, part of Vatnajökull National Park. In northeast Iceland, Espiagi is a horseshoe-shaped canyon. Its cliffs are 100 meters high, the canyon is more than 1 kilometer wide, and it is around 3.5 kilometers long. Furthermore, the canyon bottom is densely forested, with several tree types. Camping in Iceland is an adventure, and Espiagi Canyon has a fantastic campground. Espiagi Canyon has a history dating back between 8 and 10,000 years. As a result of the eruption of one of the Vatnajökull volcanoes, the canyon was created by catastrophic glacial floods. This process repeated itself 3,000 years ago. During this time, the canyon took on the final shape we see today. 
It is entirely up to you to decide which explanation you will accept. The Fagradalstjol Volcano Moving forward to this volcanic land, there is a place known as the Fagradalstjol Volcano on the Raychains Peninsula. There were eruptions on March 19, 2021, and the nearby valley of Geldengagadalir was filled with burning lava. The scenes that were made after the valley burned are worth seeing, and it's a popular spot in Iceland nowadays for tourists. There have been volcanic eruptions in Iceland for 800 years now. At the moment of the last update, eruptions are stopped now. Still, the place is not secure because scientists are saying there might be a huge coming from this outcome of continuous earthquakes and eruptions in 2021, around 50,000 a week. As little lava fountains explode, incandescent spatter erupts a fracture in the earth, scorching the soil. This little explosion might be the start of something greater, Volcano Hekla. Another volcano, Mount Hekla, is Iceland's most active volcano, with over 20 eruptions since 874. The volcano is part of a 40-kilometer-long volcanic ridge in South Iceland. The largest eruption occurred in 1104 AD, when it erupted unexpectedly, ejecting millions of tons of volcanic ash. It erupted four times throughout the 20th century, the most recent in 2000. Because of an impending eruption, geologists in Iceland keep a close eye on the volcano. Hekla is an Icelandic term for a short-coated cloak. Hence the name might reflect the regular cloud cover on Hekla's top. Following the 1104 eruption, Sister Sheehan monks circulated myths throughout Europe that the mountain was the entrance to hell. It has also been referred to as Judah's Jail, and there is a tale that witches gather on the volcano during Easter. Other exciting attractions and natural wonders around the Hekla region are numerous stunning waterfalls and unique rock formations in the adjacent TH Shore Sardalar Valley. Stong, a Viking farm ruin, is also located in the valley. The property had been completely buried by lava after the 1104 Hekla eruption. The site has a fantastic replica of the farm's longhouse. TH Shore Sardalar was a Game of Thrones filming site. The Golden Circle, People from time to time asked about what is the golden circle in Iceland. The term golden circle or Golni a Tringurin in Icelandic refers to the road from Reykjavik via Thingvellir, Jaisir and Golfoss, the route's attractions, then back to Reykjavik, completing a circle. The gold of the name derives from the word Golfoss, which translates to golden waterfall. Golfoss, often known as the Golden Falls, is a stunning two-tiered waterfall that cascades 32 meters. It is situated on the HBTA River, White River, which originates from the Langyrkut Glacier. Because of its origins, the water's hue ranges from blue-gray to brown. According to Google's sitemap, the waterfall is a popular picture location, ranking 807th among the world's most photographed places. Lake Kerid The Golden Circle is a valley of breathtaking sceneries, and Lake Kerid is one of them. This stunning Icelandic crater lake is framed by red volcanic rocks. Kerid Located in southern Iceland within the so-called Golden Circle, is unique among crater lakes in that its caldera did not originate due to an explosion as most do. The Kerid volcano was assumed to have originated when the magma in the core simply exhausted itself, resulting in the cave-in of the empty chamber underneath. Regardless of the geological details that led to the lake's formation, its stunning spectrum of colors appears intergalactic. Strocker Geyser Contrary to this, Few people realize that geyser is an Icelandic term. The word is derived from a geyser in Iceland, and you've undoubtedly guessed what it's called, Jaser. Jaser hasn't been very active in recent years, but when it was, it threw scorching hot water up to 70 meters in the air. There are other magnificent hot springs in the Jaser region, but the primary attraction is the Strocker geyser. Strocker, born in the event of an earthquake in 1294 was declared silent in 1896 because of another seismic shock that clogged the water line. It wasn't until 1963, when the region residents decided to clean up the pipeline, that the geyser began erupting regularly again. Skagafoss Waterfall Another waterfall that you fall in love with scenery Skagafoss is one of Iceland's largest waterfalls, with a drop of 60 meters and a width of 25 meters that you can go right up to, but be prepared to be soaked. Standing close to it is simply astounding. The Eyjafjall Jökull glacier erupted in 2010, blowing millions of tons of ash into the atmosphere. Skagafoss became gray, and everything became ash-covered. Skagafoss waterfall is associated with a myth. It is said that behind it exists a chest stocked with jewels and treasures, Blue Lagoon. It's no surprise that the Blue Lagoon is one of Iceland's most popular attractions. 
This stunning milky blue lake is unlike anything else on the planet. It contrasts dramatically with the surrounding black lava fields and creeping gray moss. The Blue Lagoon maintains a constant temperature of 102 degrees Fahrenheit, 39 degrees Celsius, all year, making it ideal for swimming. In 1974, a local geothermal power business built the Sartsang Geothermal Power Plant, which produced a pool of steaming, milky blue water as a byproduct. People began coming to this mineral-rich water, saying it had healing powers. By 1987, the entry had been restricted, and bathing facilities had been constructed. The water, formed by the confluence of freshwater and seawater in volcanic aquifers, is utilized to power turbines that create energy for nearby communities. Only then is it released into the lagoon, where it becomes a component of one of the world's most famous spas. Let us know your thoughts on the new discoveries in Iceland in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.